Genesis 38 and verse 18. The Bible says, And he said, What pledge shall I give you? And she said, Your signet, your bracelet, and your staff, and that, that which is in your hand. And he gave it to her, and came in unto her, and she conceived by him. Stari wa kumina nane, akasema, ni kuperehani gani, akamjibu pete yako ya muhuri, na kamba yake, na fimbo yako ilio mkononi mwako. Basi akampa akaingia kwake, na ye akapata mimba. I want to speak about correcting ancient patterns. Ningependa nionge kuhusu kurekebisha muundo wakale correcting ancient patterns kurekebisha muundo wakale one of the things we need to know jambo ambalo tunapaswa kujua that we all come from a family or from a place where there have been a pattern ya kwamba tunatoka mahali ambapo kuna muundo fulani there have been a pattern in the spirit world number 1 kumekuwa na muundo fulani katika anga and there have been a pattern physically. Na kumekuwa na muundo katika kimwili. The reason why you are called after your father is because there was a pattern. Sababu ambayo inafanya uitwe baada ya baba yako ni kwa sababu kuna muundo. The reason why you carry the blood DNA you have is because there is a pattern. Sababu ambayo umebeba damu ambayo uko nayo ni kwa sababu kuna muundo. So everything about you is a pattern. Kila kitu kuhusiana nawe ni muundo. That is why you will come to realize. Ndio maana utakuja kugundua Many a times people find themselves in a situation. Mara nyingi watu hujipata katika mahali fulani. People find themselves in a problem they don't know what is happening for them. Watu wengi hujipata katika tatizo ambalo hawaelewi nini kinachofanyika. And they start saying that my life was not like this before. Na wanaanza kusema maisha yangu hayakuwa hivi hapo mwanzo. But that is not who they are. Lakini hii hao sio ndivyo walivyo. The problem is the pattern that has been before them. Sababu ni muundo ambao Paul was saying that be not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. The enemy is going to use patterns to limit people to where they are supposed to go. Psalms chapter 51 and verse 5. Psalms 51 and verse 5. The Bible said, be Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Tazama mimi niliumbwa katika hali ya uovu, mama yangu alinichukua mimba hatiani. David is saying here that there was a pattern which I was conceived into. Daudi anasema hapa kulikuwa na muundo ambao nilizaliwa. There was a pattern that I was introduced into without me even knowing. Kulikuwa na muundo ambao mimi niliekwa ndani bila hata mimi kujua. So we come to understand here that the pattern which every man is introduced into is by birth first. Tunakuja kuelewa ya kwamba kila mundo ambao mwanadamu yupo ndani yake unapitia kwa kuzaliwa kwanza. All of us we come from a family. Sisi wote tunatoka katika familia. We were born into a family where we didn't know what happened before we came. Tulizaliwa katika familia ambayo hatukujua kile kilicho tendeka kabla sisi kuja. There was something that happened even before we were born. Kulikuwa na mambo ambayo alifanyika hata kabla hatujazaliwa. Before your father existed there was something that was there. Kabla babako hajawa kuna kitu ambacho kilikuwa pale. Before your grandfather, there was a pattern. Kabla ya babu yako, kulikuwa na muundo. So David says, I was introduced into this by birth. Daudi anasema ya kwamba nilie kwa hili ndani yake kwa kuzaliwa. A pattern is an order that is designed to follow a particular step. Muundo ni mpangilio fulani ambao umewekwa ufate hatua fulani. There are so many people kuna watu wengi sana their lives go the same way it is going not because they want. Maisha yao yanaenda jinsi yanavyoenda sio kwa sababu wanataka. Someone will want to do a certain business. Watu mtu mwingine angependa kufanya biashara fulani. But the more they invest in the business lakini jinsi wanavyoingia ndani katika hiyo the more they realize that nothing is working for them. Hivyo wanavyogundua kwamba kuna kinachofanyika 
because there is a pattern that says whoever tries to do something in this family will not work that everyone seated here today every ancient pattern that has been in your family every pattern of the enemy every negative pattern I stand upon the word of the Lord today it comes to an end in the name of Jesus every pattern in your family that is stopping your family that is stopping your life that is stopping your business today we summon it to the altar of God it comes to an end in the name of Jesus lift up your right hand say Lord say Lord every pattern in my family every negative pattern in my life it comes to an end in the name of Jesus shout a big amen sit down the Lord bless you so a pattern is a customary way of operation ni unafanyika uh, unafanya kazi ki Kiuduni. a customary way of oppression inafanya kazi kwa njia ya kiutamaduni you are ready for something uko tayari kwa ajili ya jambo but jambu. because there is a pattern in your family ah lakini kwa sababu kuna muundo katika familia yako that hapo. says no one in your family will get to that place ambao unasema hakuna mtu wa familia yenu atafika mahali so because there is a pattern na kwa sababu kuna muundo you are ready for something uko tayari kwa ajili ya kitu but you don't get into the thing ambao because there is a pattern that pattern comes to an end today in the name of Jesus it comes to an, an end today in the name of Jesus so I'm going to show you three ways that people are being stopped by pattern number one the blood Damu. The blood you carry Damu has a voice over your life. The voice that the, the, the blood that you have Damu ulionayo has a voice over your life. Iko na sauti juu ya maisha yako. Whatever is in your blood Chochote kipo katika damu yako is what has been even before you existed. Ni kile ambacho kimekuepo hata kabla hujakuwa. Genesis chapter 12 verse 12 and 13 12, uh, Abraham is going to Egypt. Ibrahimu anaenda kule Misri. And he's going with Sarah the wife. Na anaenda na mkewe Sarah. And he tells Sarah. Na anamwambia Sarah, when we get to Egypt, tutakapofika kule Misri, tell them that you are my sister. Waambie kwamba wewe ni dada yangu. Don't say you are my wife. Usiseme ya kwamba wewe ni mke wangu. For these people might kill me. Ili kwa sababu hao watu wanaweza kuniua. Because if you tell them that I am your husband, kwa sababu ukiwaambia kwamba they might come to me and destroy me because of that. And Sarah understood. And she says yes. Number one. Then number two. In Genesis 26 and verse 7. Genesis 26 and verse 7. Isaac was also going to a certain city. He looked at his wife Rebecca. He said, My dear Rebecca, these people, if they know you are my wife, they will come after my life. I want you to tell them that you are my sister. And Rebecca said, Yes. Number three. Genesis 37 Mwanzo 37 verse 31 to 34 Mstari wa 31 hadi 34 These are the sons of Jacob Hawa ni wana wa Yakobo before we get to the sons of Jacob Kabla hatujafikia wana wa Yakobo Genesis 27 and verse 18 Mwanzo 27:18 Genesis 27 and verse 18 Mwanzo 27:18 and he came unto his father now Jacob 
And he lied to his father. He said, This is me, Esau. He was not Esau, but he was Jacob. He was Jacob, but he lied to the father and said, I am Esau. And in Genesis 37, from verse 31 to 34, the sons of Jacob now came to him and lied that your son Joseph is dead. This was something that started with Abraham. Abraham was doing that to protect himself. But he did not know he was initiating a setting pattern into his family. His son Isaac came after him and did the same thing. And when it came to the point of Jacob. Jacob became a master to the same line. And his sons also did the same. One of the things you need to understand about patterns. Patterns initiate covenants. A repeated pattern will initiate a covenant. So they now got into a covenant that they didn't know. But it was something that began from their great grandfather. Whatever is holding you down that comes from your great grandfathers that come from the families before you in the name of Jesus it comes to an end in the name of Jesus it comes to an end in the name of Jesus hallelujah amen so Abraham was preserving his life. He told the wife, tell them that I am your brother. He didn't know that he was initiating a pattern in his family. So many a times we have gotten ourselves into something. We ask ourselves where did it start? The thing is not you. There is something that was there before you came. So for you to get to the next level, you need to do away with that pattern. Lift up your right hand, say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Every negative pattern over my life, over my family, it comes to an end. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So the bloodlines introduce his pattern. Kwa hiyo damu inaleta mundo. Abraham started by telling them this is my sister. Ibrahim akaanza kusema huyu ni ndugu yangu. He did know that he was introducing something. Hakuwa anajua kwamba alikuwa anaanzisha jambo. He didn't know that he was starting something that was going to be a problem to his generation. Hakuwa hakuwa anajua anatambulisha kitu ambacho kitakuwa ni shida katika uzazi wake. Maybe our parents got into a covenant without our knowledge. Labda wazazi wetu waliingia katika agano bila ufahamu wetu. And we now find ourselves in a situation where we are being challenged. Na sasa tuko katika hali ambayo not because you have a problem but because there was something at the beginning and now you are stuck between the two that pattern comes to an end today in the name of Jesus that pattern comes to an end in the name of Jesus now one thing you need to understand about pattern every pattern is very to make you lose your originality. Kila muundo uko pale ili wewe upoteze um so that you lose your God's giving identity. In Genesis chapter 38 verse 18 where we read Judah went down 
Yuda alienda. He met a certain woman. Akakutana na mwanamke fulani. And the woman said for you to come in with me you have to pay. Na yule mwanamke akasema ili wewe uje nami lazima ulipe. And he said what will I give you? Na akasema nitakupa nini? The woman said give me your belt. Ah mwanamke akasema nipe mshipi wako. Give me your rod. Nipe fimbo yako. Give me your signet. Nipe pete yako. A pattern is there to take away what belongs to you. Muundo uko pale ili uchukue kile ambacho ni cha kwako. So many times people have found themselves in a situation. Mara nyingi watu wamejipata katika hali. You know that you are ready for something. Unajua uko tayari kwa ajili ya jambo. You know that where I am supposed to be. Unajua mahali unapaswa kuwa. Is not where I am. Sio mahali ulipo. And yet you know that something is still stopping you. Na pia unajua kuna kitu kinachokusimamisha. The problem is not you. Tatizo sio wewe. The problem is there is a pattern. Tatizo ni ya kwamba kuna muundo. One of the things about pattern. Jambo ambalo moja kuhusu muundo is that if it is not broken. Ni ya kwamba kama haijaibiwa repeating itaendelea kujirudia there will be a repetition of story kutakuwa na hadithi za kujirudia when you have to get married wakati unaolewa the man will come mwanaume atakuja when you want to get into marriage wakati unataka kuingia katika ndoa the marriage does not work hiyo ndoa haitafanya kazi when you want to do business unataka kufanya biashara you have the money to invest business kuna pesa ya kuanzisha biashara but there is never profit in the business you do lakini hakuna ile pesa ya kujifaidisha katika maisha there is always a pattern kuna muundo fulani some people in their family watu wengine katika familia zao no matter the money you have haijalishi ni pesa ngapi uko nazo you can never build a house hauwezi kujenga nyumba because from the beginning kwa sababu hapo mwanzo no one has ever built a house in your family watu amewahi jenga nyumba na pesa zake there are people kuna watu the pattern in their family miundo katika familia yao is a pattern of sickness ni muundo wa magonjwa at a particular season na majira fulani there is always people who fall sick kuna wakati watu wanagonjeka are you hear that in this family ama unasikia katika hii familia what kills people is cancer kile huwa watu ni saratani what kills people is so and so sickness kile huwa watu ni ugonjwa fulani because that is a pattern ah, kwa sababu huo ndio muundo every pattern of sickness in your family kila muundo magonjwa katika familia yako by the blood of jesus kupitia damu ya yesu the blood wipes it out in the name of jesus the blood wipes it out in the name of jesus damu ipanguze kwa jina la yesu haleluya amen So every pattern kwa hiyo kila muundo has for responsibility una kazi nne to take what belongs to you una kazi ya kuchukua kile ambacho ni cha kwako there are people kuna watu before you were born kabla hujazaliwa there were things our parents did kuna mambo wazazi wetu walifanya you were not there haukuwa pale but today it is becoming a pattern in your life lakini leo imekuwa ni muundo katika familia yako maisha yako samani Are we together? There are people you ask yourself what is happening. Kuna watu unajiuliza ni nini kinachofanyika? The problem is not you. Tatizo sio wewe. The thing is there is something that was there. Shida ni ya kwamba kuna kitu ambacho kilikuwa pale. Do you know Jesus had that problem? Unajua ya kwamba Yesu alikuwa na hilo tatizo. That Jesus had a problem with the pattern from where he came from. Ya kwamba Yesu alikuwa na tatizo na muundo alipokuwa ametoka. That is why when Nathaniel went to his brother. Ndio maana Nathaniel alipoenda katika ndugu zake. The question he asked. Ah swali aliyouliza. Can anything good je kuna kitu chema come from that place because we pali. know them kwa sababu tunawajua no one succeeds in that village we know kujiju. them tunawajua no one succeeds there hakuna anayeendelea pale even jesus had an issue with the pattern hata yesu alikuwa na shida na muundo but when jesus had him speak lakini yesu aliposikia When Jesus had the man speak. Ah wakati Yesu alisikia huyo mtu akiongea. Jesus was not worried. Yesu hata hakuwa na hofu. Because he knew. Kwa sababu alijua. He had come to correct a pattern. Ah wamekuja kurekebisha muundo. There is someone seated here today. Kuna mtu ameketi hapa leo. No matter what has been happening in your family. Hai kile kimekuwa kikiendeka katika familia yako. May the Lord correct it in the name of Jesus. Mungu arekebishe hilo kwa jina la Yesu. May the Lord correct it in the name of Jesus. Mungu alirekebishe kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If a pattern is not corrected, kama muundo haujarekebishwa, you will keep going over and over and over again. Utaendelea kuendelea na kuendelea na kuendelea. There are people who have gone through so many things. Kuna watu wamepitia mambo mengi sana. Because the pattern has not been corrected. Kwa sababu ule muundo haujarekebishwa. 
you try something it does not work unajaribu kitu hakifanyi kazi and you think that the problem is you na unahisi ya kwamba tatizo ni wewe the problem is not you tatizo sio wewe the problem is that negative altar tatizo ni ya kwamba ni hiyo madhabahu ya hasi of witchcraft kila madhabahu ya uchawi altar of in your family kila madhabahu katika familia yako that is stopping you from advancing ambayo inakuachisha kuendelea it comes to an end today in the name of jesus inakuja kukuacha kwa jina la yesu hallelujah Hallelujah. When it comes to the bloodline, ikifika ni damu. Before I continue I want to explain this to you. Kabla sijaendelea naomba niwaeleze hili. When it comes to the bloodline, ikifika ni mstari wa damu. Everything that has to do with blood. Kila kitu ambacho kinaitanishwa na damu. There is already initiation. Uh, kuna ile kuanzishwa tayari. Whatever has to do with blood. Kile ambacho kinahusisha damu. There is already initiation kuna kuanzisha and for there to be initiation na ili kuwe na mwanzo fulani there have to be an altar lazima kuwe na madhabahu fulani because wherever blood is poured kwa sababu mahali damu inamwagwa or wherever blood is available ama mahali damu inapatikana there is an altar kunayo madhabahu now when the blood is in you na kwa sababu damu iko ndani yako we all come from families where altars have been there sisi tuko kwa katika familia ambazo kuna madhabahu yako pale we come from families where altars have been risen even before we were born tumetoka katika familia ambayo kuna madhabahu yaliinuliwa hata kabla sisi kuzaliwa one of the things we need to understand jambo ambalo tunapaswa kuelewa that for an altar to be silenced against your life ya kwamba ili madhabahu yanyamazishwe kinyume na maisha yako The voice of the altar has to be silenced. Sauti ya madhabahu lazima inyamazishwe. Because every altar has a voice. Kwa sababu kila madhabahu iko na sauti. Every altar has a voice. Kila madhabahu iko na sauti. And for an altar to be operational, na ili madhabahu ifanye kazi, there should be a blood that is speaking on that altar. Lazima kuwe na damu inanena juu ya yale madhabahu. So in every blood, kwa hiyo katika kila damu, there are three things. Kuna mambo matatu. The blood has the ability to speak damu iko na uwezo wa kuongea the blood speaks damu huongea every blood speaks kila damu huongea and number two, na jambo la pili every blood has the ability to keep records ah uh, kila damu iko na uwezo wa kuweka rekodi you know if you go to the hospital unajua unaenda hospitalini and you are sick na wewe unaugua. The first thing they will ask you to do is for you to get a blood sample test. Ah uh, jambo la kwanza watakalo kuuliza ni ya kwamba wachukue damu yako wafanye mm. a blood sample test. Awafanye damu yako waipime. Because the blood has a memory. Kwa sababu damu iko na kumbukumbu. So a blood the blood can speak damu inaweza kuongea the blood has memory damu iko na kumbukumbu and wherever blood is there is a covenant na mahali damu ipo kuna agano so a blood is being used to initiate covenant kwa hiyo damu inatumiwa kuanzisha agano many a times we don't know the covenants our fathers entered before they gave birth to us mara nyingi hatujui maagano ambazo baba zetu waliingia kabla hawajatuzaa we don't know what was speaking over their life before we came into the picture hatujui kile ambacho kilikuwa kinaongea juu ya maisha yako kabla sisi hatujaja so so many times we are fighting battles that are older than us mara nyingi tunapigana vita ambavyo vipo juu yetu So for you to become successful in that battle. Na ili wewe uwe uendelee vizuri katika hiyo vita. You need to silence the voice. Lazima unyamazishe sauti. The voice that is speaking. Sauti inayoongea. Number two, you need to cancel every negative memory that has been there which is the pattern. Jambo lingine unapaswa kutoa kumbukumbu ya hasi ambayo imekuwa katika yule mundo. And number three, you have to destroy the covenant. Na jambo la tatu inabidi uharibu lile agano. There are so many covenants of the enemy that is still holding people today. Kuna maagano mengi ya adui ambayo imeshika watu leo. Not because they don't want to advance in life sio kwa sababu hawataki kuendelea katika maisha but because everything they want, every time they want to move forward lakini kila wakati wanataka kusonga mbele there is a voice that speaks against them kuna sauti huwa inaongea kinyume nao that says this one is not eligible for that ambao huwa inasema huyu hafai kupata hilo hallelujah hallelujah do you know the realm of the spirit is like this step here unajua 
Katika kiroho kuna ni kama hili ngazi hapa. You have to move from one step to the another to go to where you are supposed to be. Lazima utoke kiwango kimoja hadi kingine ili uende mahali unapasokuwa. I always say in the spirit realm there are spiritual checkpoints. Kila wakati ninasema ya kwamba kuna kuangaliwa kwa kiroho. That whenever you want to get to another level. Ya kwamba wakati unataka kuingia katika kiwango kingine. You have to show your credentials. Unapaswa kuonyesha uh, umepita kiasi gani. When I was coming into Kenya. Nilipokuwa ninakuja Kenya. Even though I had a ticket. Hata kama nilikuwa na mambo. If I didn't have my passport. Kama singekuwa na passport. There was no way I will enter Kenya. Hakuna jinsi ningeingia hapa Kenya. If I didn't have a visa. Kama singekuwa na visa. I will enter Kenya. Singeingia Kenya. So what the devil does? Kwa hiyo kile shetani anafanya. He holds people in that three compartment I told you. Anashikilia watu na vile vitu vitatu nimekuambia. There is a voice that speaks kuna sauti kunena that every time you want to move forward ya kwamba kila wakati unataka kusonga mbele the voice says so and so is not the so and so is not eligible sauti fulani inaongea kwamba fulani fulani yeye hapaswi they say we will stop them at this place anasema tutamsimamisha mahali hapa they will not go forward hawataenda mbali and when you want to get a legal ground to go forward na wakati unataka kupata nafasi ya kuenda the blood now brings up the memory which is the pattern sasa ile ardhi inaleta muundo ambao ni kumbukumbu. no one in their family has ever done this. Inakumbusha kwamba hakuna mtu familia yao ameifanya hili. Why do they want to do it? Kwa nini anataka kufanya? And now you stand at the same place. Unasimama sasa mahali pamoja. Not because you are not ready. Sio kwa sababu hauyuko tayari. But because there is something that is speaking against you. Lakini ni kwa sababu kinaongea kinyume na wewe. Every negative voice speaking against you. Kila sauti ambayo inaongea kinyume na wewe. Every negative voice speaking against your family Kila sauti inayoongea kinyume na mwili yako Speak the blood of Jesus Tunatangaza damu ya Yesu Speak the blood of Jesus Tunatangaza damu ya Yesu Over your family Juu ya familia yako Over that business Juu ya hiyo biashara In the name of Jesus Jina la Yesu Hallelujah Hallelujah So many people have been stopped Watu wengi wameachishwa Because there is a voice that is stopping them Kwa sababu kuna sauti inawasimamisha Isaiah 66 and verse 6 Isaiah 66 mstari wa 6 Isaiah 66 and verse 6 Isaiah 66 mstari wa 6 Isaiah 66 and verse 6 Give it to us we read it It's a voice of noise from the city a voice from the temple a voice of the lord that renders recompense to his enemies sauti ya fujo itokayo mjini sauti itokayo hekaluni sauti ya bwana awalipai adui zake adhabu the first one say a voice of noise from the city neno la kwanza ni sauti ya fujo itokayo mjini that voice from the city where you come from hiyo sauti ya mjini unakotoka the voice from the family where you come from sauti ya familia unakotoka the voice from the place where you come from sauti ya mahali utokako that every time you want to move forward ya kwamba kila wakati unataka kusonga mbele the voice is saying you are not ready for what is there sauti inasema ya kwamba hauko tayari kwa ajili ya kile kilicho pale this day we silence that voice leo hii tunanyamazisha hiyo sauti silence that voice tunanyamazisha hiyo sauti shall not stop you again hiyo sauti haitakusa that voice shall not stop you again hiyo sauti haitakusa by the blood of jesus tushia kwa damu ya yesu silence that voice tunanyamazisha hiyo sauti is a voice of noise inasema sauti ya hekalu it means that voice is making noise to stop you ah inasema hiyo sauti inafanya kelele kunyamazisha there are so many people that voice have stopped you for long inasema kuna kwa watu ambao wamenyamazishwa na sauti sana that voice has put you in the same place for many years hiyo sauti imekuweka mahali pamoja kwa miaka mingi that every time you want to move forward ya kwamba kila wakati unataka kusonga mbele there is always that voice that comes to say you are not going forward kila wakati kuna hiyo sauti inakuja kuambia hausongi mbele i don't know who i am talking to Sijui nani ninayezungumzia. Every voice that have been limiting you. Lakini kila sauti imekuwa ikikusimamisha. Come in the name of Jesus. Tunatangaza kwa jina la Yesu. Every voice that has been speaking against your life. Kila sauti imekuwa ikinyamazisha maisha yako. Silence it in the name of Jesus. Tunanyamazisha kwa jina la Yesu. It shall not stand. Haitasimama. Ida shall it come to pass. Na hata haitakuja kutimia. Kutoka leo. That voice. Hiyo sauti. Is silent. Tunanyamazisha. By the blood of Jesus. Kupitia kwa damu ya Yesu. Inanyamazishwa by the blood of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are so many people. Kuna watu wengi sana. The voice is saying you are nothing. Amba kuna sauti zinasema sio si kitu. They are saying you are nothing. Zinasema sio kitu. They are saying that your serving God is in vain. Zinasema kwamba wewe kumtumikia Mungu ni bure. They are saying no matter how you pray. Hizo sauti zinasema kwamba huo mambo ni mambo. Nothing happen in your life. Hakuna kitu kitakachofanyika katika maisha yako. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Rejoice not over me or my enemies. Usifurahi tu yangu yeye tu yangu. So when I fall. Kwa sababu ni yangu kama rise again. Nitasimama tena. You might be rejoicing over me. Unaweza kuona sherehe ya Mungu. Voice that is laughing at you. The voice that is mocking at you. The silence in the name of Jesus. It's a voice of noise. A voice of noise. From the city. So the city is where you are. Sasa mjini ni mahali uliko. Where you came from? Uliko toka. From your family. Kutoka katika familia yako. They say who succeeds in that family? Ndio wanasema ni nani anayeweza kufanikiwa katika hiyo familia. They are saying who buys a car in that family? Wanasema ni nani anunua gari katika hiyo familia? They say is it not that family? Wanasema kuje sio hiyo familia. Where no one succeeds. Ambapo hakuna anayefanikiwa. We know them. Tunawachua. We know them. Tunawajua. They are going nowhere. Hawaendi But that voice today Hiyo sauti leo it is silence tunanyamazisha that voice is silence Hiyo sauti you shall move forward utasonga mbele they said you shall not succeed utasini walisema utaendelea you shall succeed in that place utafanikiwa mahali pale they said you shall not make it walisema hautaendelea you shall make it in that place utaendelea mahali pale they said you shall not make it walisema hautaendelea lord will come for you bwana atakucha kwa ajili yako He say and a voice from the temple. Anasema kwamba na sauti kutoka hekaluni. So when we were here today apostle praising and worshiping God. Tulipokuwa hapa mtume tunaabudu na kumsifu Mungu. It was not a noise. Haikuwa kelele. It was not a voice of noise. Haikuwa sauti ya kelele. It was now the voice from the temple. Ilikuwa sasa ni sauti kutoka hekaluni. He said all to me all my sins. Inasema nikusanyieni watumishi wangu wote. Them that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Ah wale ambao wamefanya agano na mimi kupitia dhambi. So when we were here lifting our hands to God. Wakati kwa hapa tunainua mikono yetu kwa Mungu. Those witches in your village thought that they still have you. Hao wachawi walifikiria bado wako na wewe kutoka kitu kingine. They thought that it is the same thing over and over again. Walifikiria ni hilo tu jambo. But they didn't know. Hali hawakujua. It was a voice from the temple. Ilikuwa ni sauti kutoka hekaluni. And that voice was the voice of the Lord. Na hiyo sauti ilikuwa ni sauti ya Bwana. It was the voice of the Lord. Wanasema ni sauti ya Bwana. That comes to bring recompense ambayo hukuja kuleta uhamishi it might have been long inaweza kuwa imekaa but today lakini leo God is bringing recompense to someone. Mungu analeta adhabu kwa ajili ya God is bringing recompense to someone. Mungu analeta adhabu kwa ajili ya mtu. It's a voice of the Lord. Inasema sauti ya Bwana that brings recompense to his enemies. Ambaye huwalipa adui zake kwa ghadhabu. It didn't say the enemies of Apostle Jane. Hajasema maadui wa Mtume Jane. Because the people who think they are fighting Apostle Jane are wale, not the enemies of Apostle Jane. Wale watu ufikiri wana gana na mtume jen sio adui wa mtume jen they are the enemies of the law ni maadui wa mungu because whoever is fighting you kwa sababu yeyote anapambana na wewe is wanting to fight god anataka kupambana na mungu so they are no longer your enemies kwa hiyo sasa hao sio maadui wako they have become the enemies of the law sasa wanakuwa ni maadui wa bwana because the lord is coming kwa sababu bwana anakuja to bring recompense kuleta adhabu to his own enemies kwa adui wake wenyewe so when you were worshiping this Morning, and you lifted up your hands. Na ukainua mikono yako. You thought you were lifting up your hands. Wewe ulifikiria tu unainua mikono. But you were telling God. Lakini ulikuwa unamwambia Mungu. It is time for you to take over the battle. Ah ni wakati sasa wako kuchukua vita hii. It is time for you to take over the limitation. Ni wakati wako kuchukua mimi kutimiwa. It is time for you to carry what belongs to you. Ni wakati sasa kuchukua kile ambacho kimechukua kwako. That is why you were lifting up your hands. Ndio maana ulikuwa unainua mikono yako. You thought you were lifting up your hands. Ulifikiria unainua mikono. But you were saying God. Na ulikuwa unasema Mungu. Take it over. Chukua nafasi yako. The Bible said the Lord will come. 
Biblia inasema ya kwamba yeye atakuja to put apart all that limitation kuleta mwisho kwa to jina to put apart all the troubles kuleta mwisho matatizo lift up your right hand say lord ndio mkono wako sema bwana take it away chukua itoe say take it away itoe say lord bwana take it away itoe hiyo ndoe hallelujah so i told you number one is the bloodline jambo la kwanza ni damu number two jambo la pili inherited curses urithi wa laana hallelujah amen you know it is very unfortunate unajua ni kwa hiyo sana that sometimes we think that the only thing we carried from our parents is our name and our identity wakati mwingine tunafikiria kwamba kile ambacho tunabeba kutoka kwa wazazi wetu ni majina na utambulisho wetu lamentation chapter 5 and verse 7 eh lamentation 5 verse 7 mstari mtano mstari wa 7 it say our fathers have seen and are not and we have born their iniquity baba zetu walitenda dhambi hata hawako na sisi tumeyachukua maovu yao our fathers were the one that sin mababa zetu ndio hao walitenda dhambi they are no longer with us sasa hawamo tena and we are the one that are carrying the consequences na sisi ndio tunabeba hayo malipo there was a certain story kulikuwa na hadithi fulani the bible tells us Biblia inatuambia and the bible says a certain prophet Biblia inasema kwamba manabii fulani was a prophet the bible said alikuwa ni manabii bila inasema and he died in debt na akafa kwa madeni and the debtors came to collect his children for slaves na wadeni wake wakaja kuwachukua watoto wake kuwa watumwa and the wife ran to the prophet elisha na mke wake akakimbia kwa mtu kwa nabii elisha he say your servant served god faithfully akamwambia mtumishi wako alimtumikia Mungu vizuri except that there was a debt that was not paid lakini kulikuwa na deni ambayo haikulipwa there is a debt in our family that we have become debtors because of that kuna deni katika familia yetu na sisi tumekuwa wadeni kwa ajili ya hilo there are people who are living and paying debts that they did not borrow kuna watu ambao wanaishi na kulipa madeni ambayo hawakuwa there are people who are living sentences that were that they were not the one who committed the crime kuna watu ambao wamefungwa mashtaka ambayo hata sio hao walitenda hiyo because there was someone that lived that life before you kwa sababu kuna mtu ambaye aliishi maisha hayo kabla ya wewe but every pattern that you are suffering from today lakini kila muundo unaoteseka leo may the lord bring it to an end in the name of jesus si mungu aifikishe mwisho kwa jina la yesu may the lord bring it to an end in the name mungu of jesus mungu aifikishe mwisho kwa jina la yesu haleluya zefania chapter 3 and verse 19 zefania 3:19 I want you to pray. Nataka uombe. When you are going to pray, I want you to pray as if it is the last time you are ever going to pray. Wakati wa kuomba nataka uombe ni kama hautawahi kuomba tena. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 19. He said behold at that time I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that hath and gather her that was driven out. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Zefania 3:19 Tazama wakati huo nitawapitiliza watu wote wanaokutesa nami nitamponya yeye achechemeaye nami nitamkusanya yeye aliyefukuzwa nami nitawafanya kuwa sifa na jina hao ambao fedha yao ilikuwa katika dunia yote. There are people kuna watu you are suffering from what the problem is not you unateseka kutokana na kile ambacho tatizo sio wewe you are not the one that borrowed but you are the one paying the debt sio wewe ulikopa lakini ni wewe unalipa deni because there is an outstanding debt 
Kwa sababu kuna deni ambayo imesimama. And because of that. Na kwa sababu ya hilo. You are not moving forward in what you are doing. Hausongi mbele kwa kile ambacho unafanya. But the Lord says. Na Bwana anasema. At that time. Wakati huo. I will undo all that are afflicted. Anitawapitiliza watu wote wanaokutesa. I don't know the affliction that is in your heart. Sijui mateso ambayo yapo moyoni mwako. I don't know the affliction that is in your in your life. Sijui mateso unayopita but God is about to lift up that affliction in the name of Jesus. God is about to lift up that affliction in the name of Jesus. He said, I will save them that holeth. So those who are wondering that they don't know where they are going. Wale ambao wanazunguka tu na hawajui wanakoenda. You feel like you are lost. Unahisi umepotea. You feel like everything is gone. Unahisi ya kwamba kila kitu kimepotea. But God say he's coming to take away that pattern. Lakini Bwana anasema anakuja kuondoa ule mwendo. He's coming to take away that problem that has been in your life. Anakuja kutoa hilo tatizo ambalo limekuwa katika maisha yako. He's coming to take away that problem. Anakuja kutoa hiyo tatizo. Lift up your hands say in the name of Jesus. Every negative depths. Kila deni ya hasi. Every wicked depths. Kila deni ya uovu. In my family. Karika familia yangu. That is holding me back. Amba imekuwa ikinishikilia. That is holding my life. Amba imekuwa ikinishikilia maisha yangu. Let it be cancelled. Wa hiyo tunayaribu. By the blood of Jesus. Kwa damu ya Yesu. Let it be cancelled. Tunayaribu. By the blood of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. There are people who are suffering from debt which they didn't. Kuna watu ambao wanateseka madeni ambayo hata hawajui. Hawakukopa. The devil will put a debt of sickness in a family. Shetani ataweka deni la magonjwa katika familia. And someone is being born in that family. Na mtu anazaliwa katika hiyo familia. And when they grow up na wanapokuwa they realize that they carry the sickness in them. Ah wanagundua ya kwamba wamebeba ugonjwa katika ndani yao. Not because they did anything. Sio kwa sababu walifanya but kitu. Because they came from somewhere. Ni kwa sababu walitokea mahali. Every debt that is in you. Kila deni lililoko ndani yako. Every negative debt that is in you. Kila deni la hasi lililoko ndani yako. The blood of Jesus speak for you. Damu ya Yesu ikanene mema kwa jina yako. The ultimate sacrifice. Ah inuesta bibi. May he speak over your life. Inua kuju ya the ultimate sacrifice. The ultimate price. May it speak over your life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you the third one and we pray. The third one is the place of your origin. Place of your origin. John chapter 1 and verse 46. John chapter 1 and verse 46. John chapter 1 verse 40 verse 46 Yohana moja 46 He say and Nathaniel said unto him can there anything good come out of Nazareth Philip said unto him come and see Yohana moja 46 Nathaniel akamwambia laweza neno jema kutoka Nazareti Filipo akamwambia njo uone he said, can anything good come out from where this man you are talking about is coming from? There is someone here where you come from is already fighting you. And by that you find yourself in a situation where you are like, what did I do? The problem is not you. Nathaniel said, can anything good come out from Nazareth? Nathaniel anasema, laweza neno jema kutoka Nazareti. All what Philip told him. Kile Filipo alimuambia. Come and see. Alimuambia njo uone. Sometimes the world will not believe you. Wakati mungina dunia itakuamini. Sometimes where you come from, the world is not going to believe you. Mahali unakotoka wakati mungina hawata kuamini. Because of your background, people are going to dismay you. Kwa sababu ya ulikotoka, watu wataenda kukudharao. People will think that nothing good can come from you. 
Even Jesus had to go through that stigma. But that did not stop him from La being the most spoken about person today Lakini, in the world. Leo, ni mtu mahali kila pote. So whatever you are going through, God can still put an end to that problem in the name of Jesus. God can still put an end for you in the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 8 verse 23 to 26. Mark chapter 8 verse 23 to 26. A certain blind man was brought to Jesus. And they brought Jesus to him for him to pray for the man. When they brought the man to Jesus, Jesus didn't pray for the man. Jesus held the man by the hand. The Bible says he took him out of the city. And he touched him and asked him, What do you see? He said, I see men, but I see them as trees. And Jesus touched him again. He said, Now, what do you see? He said, I see them now correctly. And the Bible said, And he sent him away to his house, saying, Verse 26. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to anyone in the town. He took him out. Don't go back there. Because the problem in your life is not you. The problem is where you come from. There are so many people that practice witchcraft. There are so many people that practice idolatry. There are so many people that do so many things that will might corrupt your life. So Jesus told him, don't go back there. I don't know the stronghold in the family where you came from. But today, the Lord is breaking that stronghold in your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord is breaking that stronghold in your family in the name of Jesus. Stand up, please. Hallelujah. There are people where they come from, there is a stronghold. Watokako kuna ngome. That says no one is going to exceed so and so place. Ambalo, amba, kuna ngome inasema hakuna mtu atakaye pita flani. They say no one will move above so and so place. Ah, kwa nasema hakuna mtu ataenda juu ya mahali flani. Because that is the stronghold in the place where you were born. Hilo ndiyo ngome mahali uliko zaliwa. But that is not the story of someone here today. Lakini hiyo siyo hadithi ya mtu moja hapa leo. What has been limiting people will not limit you. Kile ambacho kimekua kiki wanyanya pa watu hakita kufanya hivo. What has been stopping people will not stop you. Kile kimekua kiki smabisha watu hakita kusmamisha. What people said nothing good will come from you, it, it will not come to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. When I was going to the Bible school, my elder sister, the one I followed, wrote me a message and she sent me the paper. She, she said, I, I, I forbid the day I knew that you were my brother. Because that day I wish never existed so that you will never exist. I was in the bus traveling to school and I was reading that letter I was crying. Because my heart was torn. And my elder sister told me Because you have decided to be so and so He said you will become just as useless As what we see You know that was about 15 years ago And, and, and then Pastors were we used to, They used to see pastors like very 
useless people. Na unajua wakati ule walikuwa naona wachungaji ni kama kitu haina maana kabisa. And my elder sister said that is how you are going to become. Na dada yangu akaniambia hivyo ndivyo utakuja kuwa. Because they had tried everything to discourage me. Kwa sababu walikuwa wamejaribu kila kitu kunivunja moyo. I come from the other side of Cameroon where most of us are Muslims. Ah ninatoka mahali ambapo wengi wetu ni waislamu. That when I became born again. Ya kwamba wakati nilipookoka. Even my own father. Hata baba yangu alienizaa. Put poison in food and gave me to eat. Akaweka chakula sumu na akanipa nile. And when my uncle brought it to me. Na wakati mjomba wangu aliniletea. And when my uncle brought the food and I ate the food. Wakati mjomba aliniletea chakula na nikaala kile chakula. And my uncle looked at me for the next one hour. Na mjomba wangu akaniangalia kama lisali limo. And he started to cry. Na akaanza kulia. And I said, why are you crying? He said, this thing you are from eating. Your father kula. said, when you eat, you will fall. We carry you and take you back home. Baba yako alisema, utakila, uanguke, na tukubebe, they nibali. would have gone and buried me dead. Wangeenda, na But kuli. ignorant as I was. Lakini jinsi nilivokuwa, tu Because when I was six years old, this man came into my room. I was sleeping with my other brothers. Kwa sababu nilipokuwa meka sita, huyu mtu alikuja chumba ni kwetu nikuwa nalana ndugu zangu. And I asked him why are you waking me up and my other brothers are still asleep. Na nikamuuliza kwa nini uniamsha na ndugu zangu wengine wanalala. He says because I want to talk to you. Ni kwa sababu akasema ninataka nikuzungumzie. And that night I said talk to me and he said nothing. Na wakati huo nikamwambia niongeleshe hakusema chochote. And after he will come again. Na baada angekuja mara tena. When my parents threw me out of the house at 11 years old. Wakati wazazi wangu walinifukuza nyumbani nikiwa na miaka 11. I was sleeping on the streets. Nilikuwa ninalala kule mtaani. And that is where my uncle came to give me that food. Na hapo ndipo mjomba wangu alikuja kunipa hicho chakula. That day my uncle cried like a child. Na hiyo siku mjomba wangu alilia kama mtoto. And he told me. Na akaniambia. That man you said came to you. Huyo mtu ambaye ulisema alikuja kwako. Can you take me to the man? Je, unaweza nipeleka kwa huyo mtu? If you are not yet dead. Kwa sababu kama bado hujakufa. Then I don't know what I will tell your father. Basi sijui nitaambia nini baba yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is someone here today. Kuna mtu hapa. You come from a place where they say nothing good can happen to you. Unatokea mahali wanasema hakuna kitu chema kinaweza kutokea kwako. The same God that turned the story of my life and told my family they were lying. Huyo Mungu ambaye alibadilisha historia yangu na akaambia familia yangu wanadanganya. The same God is about to tell your family they lied over you. Huyo huyo tu Mungu anako karibu kuambia watu walidanganya kwa ajili yako. In the name of Jesus. You might come from a place where it does not make sense. But if you have God. If you have Jesus. 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 And now one day my elder sister apostle na sasa siku moja dada yangu mkubwa mtume the one that said i was going to become nothing yule ambaye alisema nitakuja kuwa kitu haina maana my mother calls me to the house mama yangu ananiita kule nyumbani they say your sister they said they want to operate her but there is no way they were going to operate her ananiambia ya kwamba eh, mama yako they want to operate her ah uh, wanataka kumfanyia upasuaji dada yangu because she was pregnant kwa sababu alikuwa mjamzito and her intestine wrap her baby twice na hiyo mara ilikuwa imezunguka mtoto wake mara mbili and they want to operate her na walitaka kumfanyia upasuaji and they told her husband and her my mother na wakamwambia mume wake na mama yangu choose one person we are going to save chagua mtu mmoja tutakayeokoa it has to be the mother iwe mama because it looks as if the baby is already dead. Kwa sababu inakani kama tayari mtoto ashakufa. And my mother that day took all her courage and she called me. Na mama yangu hiyo siku akachukua nguvu zote akanipigia simu. The first day my mother called me pastor. Siku moja siku hiyo ya kwanza mama yake akamwita mchungaji. I cried. Alilia. All what she was saying I was crying. Kile alichokuwa anasema nililia. She said pastor. Akasema mchungaji. If your God can do this to us. Kama Mungu wako anaweza fanya hili kwetu. And I told my mother my God can do everything. Mungu wangu anaweza fanya kila kitu. But does my sister believe that my God can do it? Ya kwamba lazima dada yangu aamini ya kwamba Mungu wangu anaweza fanya. And my mother said even if she does not believe I will go and tell her she have to believe now. Na hata kama haamini mama yangu akaniambia ni tena kumwambia aamini sasa. 
And that day I went into that hospital I was crying like a baby. Na hiyo siku nikaenda hospitalini nilikuwa nalia kama mtoto. Not because I wanted to prove something to my family. Sio kwa sababu nilitaka kuonyesha kitu katika familia. But because God had turned the story of the people who said we will see you die. And they were the one now calling me to say we don't want to die please come. Ah na kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa amebadilisha historia ya wale watu walikuwa wanasema wangependa kuniona nikufe na sasa wanataka kuona Mungu wangu. And I was going to that room and one of the things I was asking God. Nilipokuwa naenda kwenye chule kila chumba nilikuwa nauliza Mungu jambo moja. Father if you will never hear my prayer again. Mungu kama hautawaisikia maombi yangu tena. I beg you by your mercies and the way I've devoted myself to you. Ninakusihi kwa rehema zako na jinsi nilivyotolea kwako. This one thing nifanyie tu hili jambo moja so that they might know ili wajue that you are the one that called me ya kwamba ni wewe ulieniita ah uh, there is one thing that god is about to do for someone kuna jambo moja mungu anafanya kwa ajili yako i said god i don't want to prove myself to them nikasema mungu sitaki kujithibitisha kwao even if you will not hear me again hata kama hutawainisikia tena lord hear me today bwana nisikie leo and we went to that room na tukaenda katika kile chumba. My sister and that girl they are alive today. Ah, dada yangu na yule mtoto wako hai leo. So this is to tell someone today. Hivi ni kumwambia mtu leo, maybe where you come from have said nothing will happen to you. Labda utokako wamesema hakuna kitu kinaweza kukufanyikia. This is the no thing that is telling you that you can become something. Hiki ndicho kitu sasa kinakuambia unapaswa kuwa kitu. This nothing is telling you that I was once nothing. Hii huyu bure ndiye anakuambia ya kwamba alikuwa bure wakati moja. But that pattern is not going to stop you where you are. Lakini huo muundo hautakusimamisha mahali uliko. Lift up your hands say Lord Jesus. Mungu anakusema Bwana Yesu. Say Lord Jesus. Sema Bwana Yesu. Every pattern. Kila muundo. In my family. Katika familia yangu. Every pattern. Kila in my life that has been stopping me that has stopped me for so long arise O Lord and fight for me arise O Lord and fight for me O Lord arise today and take away every pattern in my family lift up your voice and begin to pray Every pattern in your life kila mundo karika family yako pattern in my family kila mundo karika maisha yako comes to an end inafikia mwisho it comes to an end inafikia mwisho clap your hands and begin to pray piga makofi yako na muombe every pattern kila mundo every spirit kila roho every altar kila madhabahu every pattern kila mundo in my family karika family yako arise o lord inuka ebo arise o lord inuka ebo and scatter na uharibu every altar Every power, utawanya kila nguvu, every hand, utawanya kila mkono, every altar, kila madhabahu, that has stopped me. Ambaye imenisimamisha. Arise O Lord. Ukae Bwana. Arise O Lord. Ukae Bwana. Arise O Lord. Ukae Bwana. Ikatepeleka tabaya. Ikatepeleka doshe prayer. Ikatepeleka dasaba. Jepeleke tepeleke demes. Ikapalaga tepeleke desh.